question within the chat. We'll start with Tim Sullivan and work our way down. Go ahead, Tim. Till obviously you've been uh, with the same club for a few years now. You're, you're a, you're a well-traveled guy. You've been with the same club for a few years now. What is it like as kind of a veteran integrating into a new group and, and getting to know the new guys? Yeah, that's a great question. It's been a while since I've had, had to be like the new kid on the block. Um, but you never know what it's going to be like when you're going to a new team. You always hope for the best. And immediately once I got into Nashville, all the guys were super supportive. Guys reached out to me who I haven't maybe stayed in touch with as much, such as Dax and CJ Sapong and even Lovitz uh, reached out to me to, to ask if I needed any help with anything, finding a place, uh, kind of getting settled. So that kind of calms your mind a little bit. Uh, and then once we started preseason, I mean, the locker room is, is unbelievable. Uh, in New England, we had a really good uh, core group of guys, some veteran guys, some younger guys, and the locker room was, was a special place. And, and here rivals that. I, I think everybody, um, you know, is trying to help each other out. Um, I think there's healthy competition, but also there's good banter between the guys. Um, so it feels good to be in a locker room like that. And, and everyone's been very helpful. Drake Hills, you're on with Till Bunbury. Yeah, Till, good to, good to virtually meet you. I know you mentioned uh, some of the guys that you are obviously already know um, from competing and playing on teams with previous clubs. I'm curious as as you're getting ready, just as every other season with every at the other club. How are, how was that progressing for you um, amongst getting used to the new team and the new system? Yeah, it's a lot of differences. Um, you know, it's taking into account, obviously trying to find a place and trying to get my family settled here and whatnot, but things on the field, once it boils down to it, it's, you know, uh, this is my 13th season. So I've been playing for a while. I know what, you know, preseasons are like, I know what um, I expect from myself on and off the field. So those things are kind of the same, but what's different is definitely, you know, the training sessions, you know, the length of them, how intense they are and just figuring out the nuances of, you know, Gary's philosophies that he wants to kind of instill with the group. So it's just taken me some time to kind of get an understanding of that. Obviously, I've been able to watch Nashville for the past couple of years, so I kind of know their style. But to now be a part of the group, um, I'm learning more and more each day, and I feel like preseason's been going well. Ben Wright, you're on with Teal. Yeah, uh, Teal, I mean, first off, just welcome to Nashville. Um, I guess I'm wondering kind of what your um, – reaction was when you heard that Nashville was interested um what were your kind of initial impressions of them and then how have those been met so far during preseason yeah when I first found out I was uh, extremely happy um I think it worked out for for all parties you know I, I feel like I I had great times in New England um and I think they were kind of moving in a different direction and personally for myself I think I, I couldn't be in a better situation right now this organization is is top-notch um, and I, for me, um, I, I didn't really set expectations on what um, the organization was going to be like, the players and whatnot. I, I tend to not want to do that. Um, but it's definitely exceeded what I thought would be maybe more difficult as, you know, moving with a family into a new place that I'd never been to before. But all those things have been so uh, easy to kind of adjust to. And, and now it's just the, the fact of, you know, once you're on the field, it's something that's kind of second nature to you. But it's uh, I, I'm extremely happy uh, to be a part of this group. Uh, Nashville SC has got a lot of fun things coming. Uh, one of the foremost things is obviously that new stadium is going to be unbelievable, getting the fans involved. I know that's going to be an exciting time. So I think it's a perfect timing uh, for me to join this group and help in, in any way that I can. Thank you, Till. We'll go back to Drake Hills, then Claudia. Go ahead, Drake. Yeah, Till, just a follow-up from what you mentioned earlier in terms of just, just starting to get used to Gary's philosophy and what he's instilling in the group overall, but obviously you're included. I'm curious to know what your, your first impressions are in terms of you know what you are going to offer, um, tactically your role. Obviously, you've played throughout the front three all along there. Um, you know, What are your first impressions on how you're fitting into the group that way? Yeah, yeah, I think you hit on it. it you know, I, I can play any of those, you know, top three uh, forward roles, whether it's kind of, you know, coming underneath a little bit more, being a little wide, getting forward, or being kind of that focal center forward. So any of those roles I feel comfortable with. And I think right now it's been the first, you know, two, two and a half weeks. 
um, and just still trying to figure that out. Um, but there's there's a lot of attacking pieces uh, in this group, which which makes it exciting. You need that healthy competition. You really need that to try to get the best out of you. Uh, and it's definitely uh, bringing the best out of me um, where I want to improve each session um, and show what I can do. But I'm also trying to learn as I go um, just because it's a different type of style of play. So I'm just trying to soak in as much as I can. Um, and I think that it's going well. And I, I'm just going to try to take it day by day. Go ahead, Claudio. Uh, Neil, um, um, I mean, Theo, I'm sorry. Um, 231 regular season games and 45 goals. Um, that's a lot. I mean, really, if you look at, at many other uh, strikers in the league, especially in a difficult league like the MLS, uh, how do you take that coming into a new, in a, to a new team uh, when you're 31 years old? Uh, great experience, uh, a lot of work done already. But I mean, it really, it, it brings yourself with a, with, a, with a heavy, heavy, heavy load on your shoulders after 45 games, 45 regular goals and 30, 231 appearances. Um, you know, I, I think each, each season is a new challenge. And obviously, I want to try to score as many goals as I possibly can. I want to get as many assists as I can. Uh, but ultimately, I want to work hard for this team, you know, and I know a lot of people might say that, but. Um, you know, I really mean that. For me, it's about uh, the work I could do in training. And then once, you know, the time comes for me to step on that field on game day, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I want to win games. Um, and, and that's what it boils down to. Um, in the, obviously, in this league, in this profession, it's about winning games. So whatever my role is, uh, I'm going to make sure I'm a professional and I'm doing it to the best of my abilities. Um, and, you know, I can bring that veteran um, experience. Um, and, and try to uplift guys, try to pump guys up. And I think that's important for any team. Thank you, Teal. We'll swing back over to Tim Sullivan. Go ahead, Tim. You mentioned wanting to win a lot of games. Obviously, you did a ton of that last year. Do you, would, do you, what, I guess, sort of lessons can you bring to a new club from, you know, a Supporters' Shield winning record-setting campaign that you participated in last year? The biggest thing about I think most teams in MLS is, is everyone hears about the parity in this league. So you, you, when you have a team that has a few special players that helps, obviously, you know, coming on, the, the, I can name a bunch of players with Nashville, but the biggest thing is, is working for one another. I think that's really what stuck out in new England was if someone was messing up, someone was there to kind of pick them up or take care of maybe that mistake that they made, uh, have an accountability as well. And, and, you know, making sure that, okay, that next thing isn't a mistake. I think those are, are really key things. A lot of, a lot of players might think about, oh, it has to just be the technical side or the movement or the, but I think for me, it's, it's the, uh, the relationships you have with your teammates, whether you're starting, whether you're coming off the bench, how prepared you are for the games. I think that's uh, some of the bigger areas that I feel like teams should be focusing on is like how well they can work together. Ben Wright, go ahead. Yeah, until you briefly just touched on the stadium, but I'm wondering if you could go into that a bit more. Have you have you seen it? Um, and what kind of how, just how big of a draw is that? I know you were um, at Kansas City, I believe, when when Children's Mercy Park was open. But how how exciting is it to be part of a, a stadium opening? Yeah, it's it's really exciting. Um, you know, playing with New England, obviously we were playing in Gillette Stadium, so that was a bit different. Um, but now coming here and having a a brand new state of the art stadium, you know, right now I'm kind of holed up in a, in a hotel close by actually where the stadium is. I drive by, I go into the facility um, every morning and coming back and it's, it's fun to see. It's, I think once it gets a little closer, there's going to be this buzz about it, you know, and uh, I think it's exciting times. I feel like it, the fans deserve something like that. And I think that's a, a testament to, you know, the ownership and, and Mike Jacobs and Ian Ayer and, um, what they want for this organization, for the community. Um, I think it speaks volumes. Thank you, Teal. Do we have any more questions for Mr. Bunbury today? I see a couple more hands popping up. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, Teal, obviously um, you had a career with U.S. men's national team. Did your dad talk any smack to you on Sunday afternoon? <laughs> no, no, no smack talk. But I am, I am proud of what Canada's doing, you know. I think that's 
that's good for just the rivalry between Canada and the U.S. I think that's what needs to continue to happen. And they have a lot of talent there. And, and obviously the U.S. is in a great position as well. I know everybody wants to be up in arms about them right now, but they still are in second place in qualifying. Whether they're looking the best or not, I mean, there, there's an exciting game again tonight in, uh, you know, kind of my hometown, Minnesota. So I wonder how that's going to go because those temperatures are not fun to play in. Go ahead, Claudio. Till, um, obviously, eight years in, in New England um, as a player and all the stuff that you accomplished there, but there is also your history about uh, your community work, uh, especially those two years, uh, 20 and 21, when you were recognized because of the, the, the large community work you did there in, 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 in the community. Are you planning to do something similar? Have you thought about it already? I absolutely have thought about it. And actually we had a, a meeting today uh, with Brandon Hill, who, who heads our kind of community outreaches. Um, and what I was able to do in New England was do a, a back to school program and then a Teal's Turkey Club. And my goal is to bring both of those here. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, I was able to start the Teal Bunbury Foundation with my wife. And our, our ultimate goal is to, you know, share God's love with people and, I, it's just about me now having finding the right connections here in Nashville, but there's so much um, I feel like we can do as players if we have a certain platform to try to help out the, the communities of some, you know, uh, underserved uh, cities or communities that might just need a little bit of help. Um, and, and I think we all at one point or another have needed help from others. So I, I, I definitely will be doing some community outreaches and that's something that's going to be heavy on my heart and something that I'm going to be trying to do.